Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brian. We're continuing our HTML tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you uh, basic text manipulation. This is one of the easier things, but it gives a lot of bang for your buck. Um, first one I'm going to show you is how to bold things. To do a bold, you just enter the bold tag, which is just a B. Whoops, got those mixed up. Let's save that, flip back over to our web page. As you can see, I bolded the word hello. Now, one thing beginners often have a hard time with is, like me, they forget that slash. If you forget it, you're turning the tag on and not turning it off. What do you think is going to happen? Well, if you guessed everything's going to be bold, you'd be correct. You see how everything's now bold. Let's go ahead and fix that by turning the tag back off. Now, another one is italics. Instead of a B, it's an I. We'll just change that, save it, refresh. You can see how the word hello is italicized. You notice that world is not italicized. The reason for that is we've turned that tag off right here. Now, another one would be underlining. It's just a U. You can see the word hello is underlined. World is not. One thing you can do is you can mix and match these tags. For example, you can make something bold underline. Just remember to turn it on and turn it off. And let's go ahead and italicize the word world. Now remember to save every time when you go to refresh this, otherwise you won't see your changes. Here you can see we have a bold underlined and italicized. Another thing you can do to manipulate text is use what's called the font tag. The font tag is very simple but very powerful. Just remember to turn it on, turn it off. Now, just doing the font tag itself will do absolutely nothing for you. As you can see, nothing's happened. You have to give what are called attributes. So we'll say we want the color to be red. Now you can choose any color you want. Um, there are standard colors. Typically they're friendly names like red, green, blue, black, but you can also use a hex code. For this we're just going to stick with the name. We don't want to confuse anybody. Now save your work, flip back to your web page, refresh it. You can see we now have Hello World in red. We're not done though. The font tag actually has extra attributes. You can define, for example, the color the size, one being incredibly small as you'll see here, and it goes up to I think 7 is the highest but we'll find out. Go ahead and refresh this. So you can change the size of these things which is actually pretty neat. Now let's see what happens when we just split this up a little bit. Notice how we have a couple lines here. Hello world. Mm, take a minute and think about what this is going to look like. Do you think hello and world will be on two different lines? Let's find out. No. The reason is we have not told it to put a hard return in here. But you notice how hello follows all of the text processing we put on it. It's red, it's size is 7, it's bold, it's underlined. World is just italicized. Now, I'm going to show you how to force this to go onto separate lines. You enter what's called a hard return or a break. The break command does not have an off tag. It's a single tag, no off. For clarity, I'll just remove that extra one and you can see what's going to happen here. Every time you do a break command, it shoves it down one extra line. There you go. We have hello with all our thought processing, a hard return which is not visible, and then the word world italicized. Now you can enter as many of these break commands as you want. Um, it's actually very common to enter a couple of them right in a row just to move the line down further. Another thing you can do is change the font or the face. Uh, we'll just use Arial that'll tell it to use a specific font face for that text. 
Now remember, just this is getting manipulated. The word world is not. For clarity's sake, let's actually just copy this tag and be sure to turn this off here. Now we've got two separate font tags. Space this out so you can see what's going on. Let's make the color blue. And let's give it a size of 3. Now we have two font tags. We're turning the font on and off. And then we're turning the font on and off again. One word will be red, one word will be blue. And there you go. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you find this uh, entertaining and educational. I'll try to make more videos as time allows. <laughs>